I collected my last paycheck from an employer three years ago. And since then, I've been an entrepreneur. I've relied on no one but myself to make money every single month. And there's been ups, there's been downs. There's been a lot more ups than downs. I've made substantially more money than I ever would have made in, in my old job. I mean, I earn double what I used to earn a year in my old job. I now earn in a month. How successful you are as an entrepreneur comes down to your discipline and your ability to manage the day to day because nobody's telling you what to do anymore. And that's what I love about being an entrepreneur. But if you are not disciplined with yourself, the times that I've had downs in business has always come from a lack of personal accountability, personal discipline. So these are my, these are my tips and tricks to being a high energy entrepreneur, increasing your energy, your focus and your creativity because everything relies on you as an entrepreneur to make things happen. And this is how I do it. So number one, when you become an entrepreneur, especially if you live in the laptop lifestyle where really a lot of your business can be done not in person and online, it's often you will get a little bit lazy. You're making decent money, you're living in a, in a penthouse or you're living in some apartment in a hot country and you just fucking get up when you want to get up. You don't really dress in the morning. I've had a few weeks where... Not weeks, that, that would be insane. I've had a few days where I've not really showered, not really got out of my pajamas and stuff like that. And that's just a, it's a recipe for, for disaster as an entrepreneur. Well, I believe you have to get up and dress your best. Dress for fucking making money, dress for business. Just that mindset change of presenting yourself to the world, getting the best clothes you can. It doesn't have to be a suit. You're an entrepreneur for fuck's sake. No one's telling you what to wear. But dress for business because when you're on the phone to clients, when you're doing your work, even if it's on a laptop, you feel like you deserve money. And that's fucking important. So that's the number one, dress, dress for business. Don't let the day fuck you, fuck the day. That's, that's one of my own personal mottos. And this comes from, I had a call in the New Elite, our, our entrepreneurs community. I had a call the other day with a guy just joined and he was getting fucked by the day basically. He wakes up and opens his phone and he can work from when he opens his eyes to when he goes to sleep. It's just the nature of his business. There's always going to be problems there. And for any entrepreneur, there's always going to be shit on this thing. There's always going to be th stuff to do. The work never ends. You have to enjoy the process. And when I say fuck the day, what I mean is you wake up and you have a system. When you wake up in the morning, a routine to set yourself up. It could be going to the gym in the morning, having your breakfast or your coffee, doing a bit of personal development reading, getting into your best clothes for the day. Now you're ready to fuck the day. If you wake up and you're straight on this from bed and you stop working on your business from bed, the day's going to fuck you. It's going to make you overwhelmed. And so my, my, that, that's my strategy for fucking the day is make sure you're prepared. This is your battle preparations at the start of every day. Stick to it. Another beautiful thing about being an entrepreneur is you design your workspace, you design the way that you work. And one tip that I have that I use very regularly is I try and make the stuff that could become boring sat at your desk all day into a fun activity that makes me feel like an entrepreneur, a businessman. So I like to get dressed up in my best clothes. And if I'm doing sales calls or I'm closing over text, I like to go to a mall near my, my place in Bangkok, nice fancy mall, walk around with a chick, with a girl I'm seeing, have a good time with her and close on the text or take phone calls and be in the company of a beautiful woman walking around, doing business, going for a nice lunch and at the, whole t the same time I'm working. So I tailor my life where I now enjoy going and doing those sales calls or text closing. I enjoy that part of the day because I'm out doing something that's fun and I feel like the man taking calls and making money whilst in a nice environment, whereas a lot of the time I used to just sit, just wait, and then just get fucking bummed out and you'd be like, fuck, I don't want to do this. But when you make it fun like that, it's actually really fucking great activity to do. Like, there's nothing I'd rather be doing than spending time with a beautiful woman and making money on my phone. Like That's the fucking dream. So. That's what I recommend for you. No one's going to do that for you as an entrepreneur. It's a conscious choice how you tailor your life. That's a tip I give you to just optimize your life and, and make the process of building your business fun whilst also getting a lot of work done. I learned this in a book called Effortless. So there's the book Essentialist or Essentialism and there's the book Effortless. They're both by the same author. Highly recommend as an entrepreneur to read both of those books. And he talks about, he liked to take his uh, sales calls and phone calls he had to do. It doesn't have to be sales, could be team meetings. Look, used to take them in the hot tub. So I put my own angle on that. I don't think, I, I could do them in the hot tub as well. There's a hot tub downstairs at our condo. 
um, but I prefer to be out on the move. That's just my choice. But it gives you a new framing for how you can make those tasks more enjoyable. This leads us nicely into the next point. Fit work into your life, not life into your work. What's the fucking point in being an entrepreneur that gets to decide what he wants to do if you don't get to live, if you don't get to have fun in your life, if you don't get to do the stuff that you want to do? So at any point as an entrepreneur, you need to rewire yourself from the nine to five thinking that you've got that you have to sit in an office nine to five to making as much of your work into your life so that you can close on the move that you could be traveling all over the world that you could be on a ski fucking ski slope with the boys and you're still closing deals you're still getting work done that's what it means to be an entrepreneur that's fulfilled in his life is you just got this thing runs the whole shebang you've got your laptop with you you can go anywhere you want and you fit that work into your life you're not trying to get in these fun things around your work it's all one thing together and that's just a mindset switch and a lot of the times if you're an online entrepreneur you can easily make that switch now you just have to decide a couple of things you're going to do and and streamline your work a little bit more huge benefit for me has been speeding up time frames when you decide to do something it will fit exactly the amount of time you give it so if you have a day to make a certain amount of calls you'll do the calls in that day. If you give yourself two hours, you'll do them in two hours. I'll give you a perfect example of this. If I have a YouTube video to make in one day, it takes a day. If I decide I'm just gonna sit at home, think about ideas and then make the video, it takes me all day. Today, I've traveled in Thailand, I've traveled, I've been on a plane, I've fucked, I've had lunch, I've had dinner, I've done mentorship calls with, with my own mentor on, on building my business. And this video has taken me a grand total of one hour. Sat down, got an idea in my head whilst I was doing dinner, bang, 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 because I was forced to. I didn't have the whole day to think about it. If you're an entrepreneur that's working in a more practical sense, maybe you're not doing content, you can use this in meetings. Turn a, f a one hour meeting to a 30 minute meeting. Turn 30 minute meetings to 15 minute meetings. It just means everyone speaks faster, gets ideas flowing faster. So I try and fit as much into the day as possible and I try and minimize time frames so I can enjoy my life and, and I can do stuff I want to do. And if you leave yourself all this time for work, it will just expand to fill that gap. I've spent so many days in my, in my condo just fucking dialed in on business and it becomes sloppy. Like I said earlier, with the like not showering or going in a few days in the same clothes and just wearing track suits and stuff like that. Discipline is essential as an entrepreneur. A great way of having that discipline getting up early getting well presented get to a starbucks i like the energy in a starbucks i like chilling there on the laptop and fucking getting some work done and it gets you out the house so you've got to keep a conscious eye on that get yourself out the house i would recommend every other day if not every day you get out the house and just go somewhere to work even if it's for a couple of hours in the morning to get yourself dressed to get yourself ready to go in that business mindset rather than just staying in the house the whole time you're most awake between I think 10 I think 10 a.m. is where you reach peak wakefulness based on your circadian rhythm and your wake up time should be between 6:30 and 7:30. That's when your melatonin stops being produced in the body in the circadian rhythm and you will become awake. So 6:30 to 7:30 wake up times anywhere in there because if you're working into the I find if you're working later into the day that means you push your relaxation time at the end of the day back and you end up getting to bed 1 2 a.m. Those last few hours of the day are normally very unproductive. So you can just take those last few hours of the day, go to bed at 11, wake up early, and you've got three hours extra productive time on the front end of the day. Nicotine. This is a bit of a, it's a, bit of a dark horse, nicotine. It gets a bad rap. It's pretty addictive stuff. A lot of smoking. Is, people know that a lot of smoking is bad for you. I don't recommend you smoking. But the nicotine gum, Nicorette, um, or, or any nicotine gum that you want. It, it is actually a, a nootropic nicotine, so it will help you to focus. If you're not currently on nicotine, you've never thought about using it, I wouldn't recommend it because it is addictive stuff, so you could end up chewing a lot of this gum. But for the booster, basically some days you might have a bit of brain fog, a, bit, a day where you've got some important stuff to do, you need to get some ideas fleshed out, and you're just, you're just not quite there for whatever reason. For the tough days, I like to put some nicotine in, keeps me super focused and dialed in, use it two, three times a week, and, and that's it. And that just gives you an extra booster pack. So for that focus, energy, creativity, I have found nicotine to be a benefit. I do not recommend smoking for obvious reasons. I do not recommend vaping. Uh, that, in my opinion, is even worse than, than smoking. But the, the nicotine gum, I don't see a huge problem there. I know a lot of uh, 
top entrepreneurs use nicotine, uh, Alex Homozi being one of them. Caffeine, got to be careful with the caffeine, but it is a boost. If you stay dialed in, a bit of nicotine gum and a, ca- uh, and a coffee, you don't need to eat for at least a few hours without getting hungry, and you're fucking absolutely dialed in. If you go too hard on the coffee, you will start to get more anxious and you'll get a little bit too fast. If I have too much caffeine, I get too fast in my brain and I can't stick on one task. So two black coffees a day, nice and strong, keeps the rhythm below the belt. If you, if you watch Wolf of Wall Street, you know that reference. Um, and take breaks from coffee once a week. It does build up a tolerance, same with nicotine. So you want to give yourself breaks. If you're on the weekend and you take weekends as sort of like a half day after you've worked in the morning and you don't have your crazy sort of intensive tasks to do on that day, whenever you've got a bit more of a chill day, just take a break from the stimulants. Let yourself calm down. Let your nervous system readjust. Be a bit tired on a day. Get a good night's sleep. Try and do that every week and the the coffee will remain um, more effective. If you can meet up with high value, other entrepreneurs killing it in their space and do a bit of a mastermind where you all get together uh, once a week and you just chat ideas. It's not drinking, it's not smoking, it's not an unhealthy activity. It could be like a dinner, tennis, workouts together and you just fire ideas with your boys and you help each other with your business, you'll get some amazing ideas come out. And I get super buzzed hanging out with other guys that are on the same mission and talking about our problems, talking about how we're going to solve them is a massive help. That's what we do in the New Elite. It's my private private network. If you're interested in that and you're an entrepreneur, check it out in the link below. Have a chat with me. We'll see if you can join. But we meet up all over the world. We've got about 260 members in multiple countries around the world meeting up and talking in the chat rooms for accountability every single day. I run a weekly live call with the boys where I talk about what I've done for the week, my content plans, how I've done with business, any ideas that I've had that they could benefit from. So it's a great community of guys, some very high level entrepreneurs in there. If you're missing that in your life and you want it, check it out in the link below. Also, as an entrepreneur who's stuck to a disciplined routine, you can become very one-sided. You just know your ideas and your business and that's what you're into. I like to read 10 pages, that's all you need to read of a self-development book or some kind of interesting non-fiction book every single day because there's so much we don't know. And the beauty of 10 pages is it's not too much information to overwhelm you. You don't be absorbing so much every day that you can't focus. But you've got enough to give you a couple of new sparks, a couple of new ideas, a couple of fresh insights on the world that you can put into your business. You do that every single day. Fucking hell, that's a lot of, that's a lot of advancement across a year. So that's what I would recommend. 10 pages a day of a self-development book. Carve the time out in the morning. Get a fresh perspective. If you're an entrepreneur and you are looking to level up your personal brand and get super fucking disciplined, we do have a new elite mastermind. We've got two spaces left. 13 places are taken. There's going to be 15, six, seven figure entrepreneurs there in Koh Samui, five star hotel, yacht day, whole thing shot by photographer, videographer for your personal brand. And you also get new elite lifetime membership with this package. You get the whole lot for 7K pounds, GDP, about eight and a half thousand dollars. So an insane deal. Two mentorship calls with me. I'll be at the event the whole time. We do discipline training every single day, content talks, crypto setup, financial strategy, wealth building strategy, monetization of, of audience. So it's going to be an insane event. We're doing that in Koh Samui, the 2nd to the 5th of Feb. Just wanted to put it out here. If you're interested, DM me the word master on Instagram and we can talk about it. We've got two spots left. They may be gone by the time you, you text. So be fast because I do have a couple guys that I'm speaking to on Instagram right now. But if there's some open, it'd be great to meet with you. If you've been thinking about the new elite and this would kick you off in your business and really get you in the right mindset, shoot me a message. Guys, it's been a pleasure and I will see you again tomorrow. Whoopa!